Chess management, easy, eh? Uh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> One day in the job as a caretaker manager, but uh, tonight was all about getting a result and progressing through in this competition. People getting minutes uh, and see where it takes us. Uh, were you particularly pleased with the finishing today? Would it be fair to say that it, the game was a difference in, of, of who took their chances, who didn't? Uh, on the scoreline, yeah, but I was more pleased with the effort that the boys put in. You know, Some people haven't played big minutes this year, uh, played minutes tonight, so they'll be hurting now and hurting tomorrow. But that was a pleasing point for us, how, work, how hard the boys worked tonight. Well, some of those players, like you mentioned, haven't played a lot. Your Terry Hawkridge is probably a, a fine example of that. Was there ever any concern that they wouldn't be able to, to get the minutes in their legs? No, not really. Uh, I think Duff is another one as well. He's obviously just come out for his first full game. Uh, that was a concern that we need to get people through the game. Obviously, Nathan Thomas has played big minutes tonight. Christian Dennis has worked as hard as I think he's ever worked tonight and got his just rewards in getting a match ball. Uh, but DJ's not played a lot of football recently. Will Patchen's had a start tonight. Elliot Hewitt's obviously played football and, and Millie's been in the first team as well. So there's lots of people who've had lots of minutes and people coming back and people have already, already had minutes in the team as well. Yeah, what will that hat-trick do for, for Christian Dennis? Because obviously when he joined in the summer, there were such high expectations for him. Can that kind of kick-start his season tonight? Yeah, hopefully. He's come as a goal scorer. You know, he's been leading goal scoring non-league and he was leading goal scorer at Chesterfield last year and we obviously want him to score goals, which which helps us. And that's his, that's his role in the team. How tricky was it for you to be able to pick this team this evening and how did you go about it? Uh, I did it as a team, uh, myself and Paul, obviously the te technical director along with Norm. Uh, we're doing it as a collective and that's how it's going to stay until obviously uh, the season is made and who becomes the manager. Would you like the job full-time? Uh, I haven't even thought about it, Charlie, to be fair. I'm just here at the minute as a caretaker manager. I have my role at the club already, working with the young kids who are coming through the team, as you see now as well. Uh, but at this present time, no, I, not not really. Uh, so how, how tricky of a week has it been for you so far? It's been tough. Uh, Monday was tough. Uh, obviously, come off the back of the Barnsley result. Tuesday was tough because obviously the decision was made on uh, Tuesday lunchtime what's happening. And then we've got to prepare for a game. You know, it's a big game. We can progress in a competition, which we have done. Uh, yeah, but it's been a tough week. But the boys have coped really well tonight and put on a good performance. Everybody's got their own feelings about the, the Checker Trade Trophy competition, but it seemed like it, it really mattered to you tonight to, to, to get through, to get a good performance in as well. How pleased are you to get through to the, the knockout stage? Yeah, very pleased. We need to win football matches. The club needs to win football matches. We need to get momentum. We need to get in good habits. We need to break the habit of obviously losing games and winning tonight. Hopefully, we'll kick started when we get to Cheltenham at the weekend. That's a massive game, that, isn't it, Cheltenham? Yeah, to say the least. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how will you go about preparing the boys for that? Uh, they'll have a recovery day tomorrow. Uh, we'll prepare Friday. We'll sit down and look at Cheltenham like we always do. Uh, and then we'll get to Saturday and hopefully we'll work as hard as we can and we'll get just the rewards uh, in the result. Doncaster had quite a lot of chances tonight, chances that they ultimately spurned and Ross made a few good saves as well. How much can you take out of the actual performance? How much can you analyse given how much upheaval there has been at the club over the last few days? Well, we'll sit down and analyse it properly. Uh, you know, we've got a raw judgement that we've seen tonight, uh, real time, uh, but we've won a game. You know, it's a massive tick in the box for us tonight. We've won a football match and we move on. How different has today been, tonight been, to a normal match day night for you and, and how much of a buzz do you get from it? I was just speaking to Norm, you know, I, I take the development group, I take the reserves, I watch the youth team play, but this is this is real football. This is where your heart beats a little bit quicker. Uh, didn't eat as many sweets tonight as when I'm sat at the back <laughs> of the stand. Uh, but yeah, I've really enjoyed tonight, and, uh, but like I say, we'll see what the weekend brings. Thanks for your time, well done tonight. My pleasure, thank you very much.